The Super Bowl brings a tornado of attention to the city, but the game has planted visible seeds that certainly will last long after the Rams and after the Patriots play on Sunday. Matt Pearl joins us from the Piedmont Avenue Marta station in front of one of the many murals now gracing Atlanta. Matt, these murals tell an important story of our city. Well, for the past few months, while crews have been putting up signs and banners about Super Bowl 53, a group of local artists have been painting murals all across the city commissioned because of the Super Bowl. The project is called Off the Wall. It's a partnership between the Super Bowl host committee and the nonprofit Wonder Root. Now, that's an arts organization that for 15 years has infused Atlanta with art of the underrepresented. 11 artists are installing 30 murals around town, murals that will stand for at least five years and take on major social issues. Murals have the power to change the public discourse around some of these topics that are so divisive and controversial, but really are, you know, the murals are all about our common humanity. That's Yami Cambrone. She was tabbed for three of the 30 murals, including the one that you see behind me. It's called We Carry the Dreams. Cambrone is a DACA recipient, and she used one of these murals to put up portraits of several undocumented immigrants whose parents brought them over when they were children. We're going to have the full story about Cambrone and this project at 7 tonight. Jeff and Cheryl, back to you.